with some thumps upstairs. Alright guys, what up? It's your boy KMS. I'm doing another reaction. This reaction is to Mindseed. Uh let me look and see what make sure. Yeah. Uh yeah, Mindseed TV. I was requested to do this a while back, and I've had so many videos pop up. I forget about them. Sorry if you guys request a video and I forget about it. I'm so sorry. Join my group, the Facebook group. The link is in the description. And any videos you want me to react to, post a post a message in there with um with the link to the video, and tell me that you want me to react to it, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Also, if you got anything you want me to investigate, if you're in Kentucky, you have a place you want me to go to that's close to here, contact me and let me know. But guys, um, uh, do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification thumbs up and also click on the links in the description you'll have a link to this one a link to one of my dudes uh other videos that i look out for that i'm working with project x one x o one i keep saying that name wrong man i'm so sorry dude um what else new merch i'm working on new shirts i'm gonna come up with some new designs i've got them they're up in here but I've got to sit down in front of the computer and start working on them. Also, Patreon, if you guys want to subscribe and be a producer of the show, hit the Patreon, hit the subscription, and I will post special videos for you guys in there. Thanking you. Um, and I will give you guys top priority on videos that I should be reacting to. I don't care if it's, you know, you want me to react to an old Michael Jackson song that I may not have heard. I'll react to it. I might get a copyright claim, but I'll react to it. Now, guys, let's get into Mind C. This one here is called Curse Cabin Overnight Challenge Alone. Very scary. Paranormal activity caught on camera 3 a.m. That's a long title. And you guys know I use some of their title in my titles with their name. I'm definitely going to be uh, cutting that down. So it won't look so long. All right, guys, let's watch it. Mic check, mic check. Oh, Action. I've seen his videos. Uh, I've seen his Divix box video he's done. What is going on, guys? This is season finale. What is going on, guys? Tonight is season one hunting purgatory. I feel this pain. I do that all the time. But I cut mine out. Maybe I should start doing it. What do you guys think? Should I start doing this and then doing like blue? That's the things that I will end up doing. Uh, Patreon, you guys will get my bloopers. You guys get the tone twist. The me saying stuff wrong. Um, not knowing what I was going to say. You guys will get all that. Season finale. <laughs> I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. All right, so there is a season two coming. Don't worry, there will be more episodes. It's not over, it's not done. I have more details on that at the end of this episode. There's a really exciting announcement coming up. I'm super pumped about it. I can't wait to share it with you guys. Enjoy this episode. See you in a few. Hello, hello. Reminds me so much of my basement. My basement, I believe, is haunted. I've got videos, 10 hours of footage that I've got to go through. I just have not done it. I've had that footage for a long time. Um, I'm going to start setting up uh, cameras throughout the house every so often trying to catch something. I'm literally in the middle. There's a strong possibility that that's blood on the floor. I think I'm going to call an Uber, and I'm going to get the fuck out of here. I've seen the comment before uh, from other people, and it's the same way I think. If you're going to go hunting ghosts, and 
you see something that might be a ghost or might be something paranormal, don't get scared and leave. You're there. That's what you're there for. Get evidence of it. When I heard about a house that nobody could spend the night in without feeling like they were losing their mind, I couldn't help but book a stay for the night. However, what I did not know at the time was that I would be spending the night there by myself. That's a nice house, but in the woods, in the dark, things can get creepy. Due to a family emergency on Steve's end. Hold on. By myself, for what I did not know at the time was that I would be spending the night there by myself due to a family emergency on Steve's end. Like their intro. If Monsi guys, uh, Monsi TV, if you guys happen to watch my video, because I will post it up on Twitter, I will tag you guys in if I can find your uh, accounts and all that. If you guys happen to watch my video, let me know. Did you record all this stuff yourself and edit it? If you did, that is great, man. I like the intro. Uh, I would love to get with you guys and get you guys to help me with out with an intro. One of the first things that I experienced upon arriving at the cabin was I heard a choir. It sounded like people singing out in the middle of like this black valley. Nothing but trees, woods, there was nothing out there. But I could hear people singing as I was bringing my bags into the house. There was definitely like some- All right, let me rewind that. I'm gonna watch the shadows on that, uh, from the car. This black valley, nothing but trees, woods, there was nothing- out All right. It almost looked like there was four sets of legs, but then again, there's two uh, two headlights, so that could have been creating that illusion that we're watching. Let me go back. I'm going to play that again, and I want you guys to tell me what you think it is. I heard a choir. It sounded like people singing out in the middle of like this black valley. Nothing but trees, woods. It almost looks like there's two shadows, and he said he came alone. But then again, it could be alone. It could just be a trick where there's two headlights on the car and that's both of them are getting him and creating both shadows. There was nothing out there, but I could hear people singing as I was bringing my bags into the house. There was definitely like some weird music singing something outside. Don't know what it was. This place is fucked up. Look at this, guys. Look at this shit right here. Who's this for? What the, well, hello. Yeah, it could be a kid. Oh man! Within the first fifteen minutes of being in the house after my ride left, I was here in bed. Oh, so we did. He did have somebody there that helped him get it in. He took an Uber. That's why I said he took Uber earlier. He didn't drive. Okay, that makes sense now. My bad. I'm, my mistake, guys. Mind CTV. If you're watching, I'm sorry. I'm just going on what I'm seeing. Things and all sorts of weird noises. Heard some thumps upstairs. This is like, this is like a door to somewhere with no handle. Why is there a trap door? I just walked through a spider web. So I guess it's been a while since someone's been in here. And who the fuck is that? Who the fuck are these? Got a whole bunch of old white people. <laughs> Look at this guy. That's like General Mustard. That's Colonel Mustard. Look at this shit, man. God damn it, there's spider web on me. 
Hello? If anybody's here. Another trap door. A mini door. Mm, not quite trap doors, just doors. What the f is that? See? There's stuff banging downstairs. When I went down to look, uh, surprisingly, I found like an arcade set. Oh, that's Alright, cool. we got a weird game room. I like that. You got the old school checkerboard right in the center, too. Actually, nice with the lights on. Take notice. This is from January 1775. The house is creepy as There was like a couple bangs upstairs. But not only that, it's just there's a really, really dark feel in this place. I mean, just the whole house. People say that you can't spend the night here without losing your mind. The house starts to drive you insane. You start hearing things, you start seeing things. hear things like rustling around in the attic, maybe rats or something. Usually, I bring my gun with me when we do trips like this, and I don't have my gun this time. I am unarmed, which I am not too happy about. I decided I came here to make a video on this place, despite how crazy it is. It's creepy when you're doing it with one of your friends, 10 times creepier when you're by yourself. And All right, guys, with that being said, I want to do this kind of stuff. So if you guys have anything locally, any houses that you own or anything that's here in this area, I can do on Wednesday and Thursday nights because that's my only available nights due to me having to work. If you guys have something, contact me on either Twitter or get in the Facebook group. Leave comments in the section. Uh, leave a post about it. Uh, and I will try to go and get the overnight done if we can get permission to do it. I don't want to do anything without permission. Although there are some abandoned houses that um, I'm able to go into. But guys, let's get into this video because I want to see what this guy catches. I mean, it's just dark rooms, dark shadows everywhere. These lights don't go everywhere. So, I am going to try to make it to morning, at least till the sun comes up, without having to call an Uber. In the case that I do need to get the fuck out of here ASAP, it's gonna be a little while. I'm gonna have a little bit of a wait. So I am gonna chill downstairs. The arcade felt like the safest place in the house to me. Nobody could see inside. And honestly, from the point that I arrived at this house, the one thing that I felt the most uncomfortable about was the people out here in this mountain because it was really secluded in the middle of nowhere. I'm talking about like a population of like 10 and all of them were outside singing at like midnight. So I don't know who's out there looking in and I didn't want that. That reminds me, have you ever watched those movies where they go stay in these small towns and all of a sudden everybody in the town is weird and they are like in some kind of ritual and stuff they try to sacrifice? Nobody survives the whole movie uh, except for maybe one person and then or some video footage is found and it's like one of those POV movies that we're watching. I think the Blair Witch movie. Um... There was another one I watched not too long ago. It was low budget. I thought it was all right. I love watching those low budget POV movies because it is, we're seeing it as it's supposed to be. A non-professional looking video, but yeah. Them watching me while I was in the house. Scratch marks on the wall right here. I don't know what that could be from. Moving something in. But, uh, scratch marks there. And there's this room over here. It says, do not enter. Okay. With that sticker, 
Rom. All right. <clears throat> to me, it looks like that sticker was just put on there because you could tell that half of it's still not even stuck right, and it looks freshly printed. Mm, I don't know. Could it be a setup? Maybe. Could it be somebody that is renting out the cabin, setting him up? Do not enter. And uh, I peeked my head in there already. And it's just like wet carpet and just kind of like a, a empty room. I'm not going to go in there. Um, so maybe the basement flooded? Kind of heed the warning on the door on this one. It looks like maybe it flooded. What'd you just knock over, man? Dropping stuff. Hello, hello. I can edit. I did hear something, uh, sounded like something metal drop inside of, um, I guess you'd call it like a maintenance room down in the basement. And uh, I looked in there, I didn't see anything. Yeah, this is pretty fucked up. A lot of people said that when people stay in this place right here, uh, they start losing their mind and they usually leave before the sun comes up. And I have about six to seven hours to go before sun comes up. <coughs> <clears throat> there might be blood on the floor too. I just noticed that while I was coughing. There's a strong possibility that that's blood on the floor. Could be, could be paint. I'm hoping it's not. That's not black. I mean, that's definitely red. And it's, it's a drip. All it does look like blood here. drips. Whether that's paint or blood on the floor in the basement, I don't know, but I did notice that there was also a bunch of scratch marks all over the floor, not only on the walls, but all over the floor. There was like claw marks or something. I don't think that's paint, guys. Yeah, it does look like blood. Maybe, maybe uh, the people that live there were um, hunt. After all, it is out in the woods, so maybe it's uh, deer meat, deer blood, or something, or a squirrel. So that's interesting. I really hope that's not blood that's on the floor down here because that does not make me feel any more comfortable with the situation at all. So, I keep hearing water. Okay, I was a little confused because my sink leaks like that. You all of a sudden would be dead silent. All of a sudden you hear water drip out of my kitchen sink. I was wondering if, I, that's why I looked up because I was looking seeing if it was my sink because my studio is on the opposite side of my kitchen. Um, okay. Answered my question. Splashing. I think they do hunt because it looks like antlers. And it sounds like it's like. Can you hear that? No, it sounds like somebody's in water. So, it sounds, it sounds like, like somebody's taking a bath. Someone's taking a bath. I have not seen this video, but that's what it sounded like to me. Um. Drop a comment down and let me know if you guys have watched these guys before. Let me know what you think about their videos. Do they fake stuff? Have they been blatantly faking things? On the sounds that you're hearing, it can be it can be fake or it can be real. There's no disproven audio most of the time or some of the time. 
you can't fully disprove it because you can't see any practical effects. But they can be added in post. Like if someone was in the bathtub moving around and the water splashing. Why are you not going to where the water is? There it goes again. Listen, guys, I know normally we do lights out because we get more communication with the paranormal when it's dark. But there's no fucking way I'm turning the lights out and using the flashlight in here when I'm staying in this place completely by myself. I don't care who you are. You could call me what you want to call me. You would not be in this house with all the lights out hearing the shit that I'm hearing right now. All right. I don't blame him for not wanting to turn the lights out because, one, this dude is in a place he don't know nothing about. It may not be paranormal that he's hearing. It could just be, I mean, he could have some deranged fucking killer out there with him. Um, And the fact that he didn't bring his gun with him at this time. So, yeah, I don't blame him. I wouldn't do it. I mean, I wouldn't not go investigate. But I wouldn't be out there just like, oh, okay, I hear these sounds. Let me cut the lights off. I'd turn the lights back on and go investigate and see what the hell I was looking at. Or I'd at least have my flashlight. But, <clears throat> I mean, like, I, I, the place I work at has a, uh, is supposedly haunted. And everybody that goes in to close up this area, they all turn the lights out except for maybe one person. Me, I go in, I turn out every single light as I'm going. Yes, I use a flashlight so I can see where I'm going so I don't bump over tables. But I love it in there. It's peaceful to me, even though I've been, like, I've had things move. Um, I've heard things in this place, but, you know, all right. Oh, man, it sounds like someone's taking a if a toddler or if someone was splashing around in the bathtub, that's what it sounded like. It did not sound like water dripping. All right. Go look. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see. Where's that? Making a lot of loud steps. So if somebody's there, you're not going to sneak up on them. That looked like an edit. I was looking to see if I seen something behind him. there I don't like going upstairs at all I need to find the light switch up here uh, that's a creepy ass bed frame too there's no water in the bathtub what if something oh. water's dripping? Maybe it's these pipes making noise. Yeah, could be. And what if something's in the toilet? Like, what if a snake got into the toilet? But I don't understand the splishing and splashing sound. It's like it sounded like a sloshing noise, like something splashing around in water. Check the toilet. It's pitch black. I mean, this is as dark as it gets, guys. 
This is completely secluded. Middle of the fucking mountains. No cell phone service, no nothing. If something happens, you're pretty much fucked out here. Something definitely made like two or three bumps from upstairs as I was walking back downstairs. I don't know. All right. It sounds what is there? Uh, what I'm wondering is maybe there might be a snake or something in the toilet. I've heard of that happening when you live out in the woods. Snakes. Getting in your uh, septic system. It sounded like splashing in a bathtub to me, but there was a water drip upstairs in the bathtub. Now, for me to hear that drip two levels below, it doesn't really seem logical. The only thing that I could think is that maybe all that water that's accumulating in the pipes is like sloshing around, or maybe there's something in the pipes uh, of that bathtub. But, um, that doesn't explain the, the thumps coming from upstairs. So hopefully, uh, I'll be able to ride this thing out till morning. Like I said, you call me what you want. I'm not turning the lights out in this place. I am not doing it. There's somebody outside whistling right now. This is the first time that I've ever been in a place like this completely on my own. And it's just really fucked up. And I'm still here. I have like about another hour before the sun comes up. Wait, 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 wait. I can hear the singing again outside. I don't even want to turn the lights on because I feel like when the lights are on in here, you can see everything. Like the whole, the whole damn house is lit up at night and you can see in here like a freaking fishbowl. But I can hear the singing outside again. I'm, I'm literally in the middle of I don't like this at all. It's a little bit different when you got two people here. I think I'm gonna call an Uber and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Cause I don't know what's going on out there. Honestly, it sounds like a church. It sounds like a church ritual or something, but. All right, so what I'm hearing is the audio that I'm hearing it seems a little too like precise sounding to be a um something from outside. Uh it almost sounds like it was added post, but <sighs> to me it sounds like it was added in post. Um in the middle of nowhere at like four in the fucking morning. 4.30 in the morning, and there's people outside singing close enough that I could hear them. That's scary. It's weird. I don't care who you are, that's weird. There was definitely a group of people that was not very far. Um, not having my firearms with me. Not knowing where I'm at. Not knowing who that was outside. If somebody does come across this house in the middle of the night. I would rather at least know I have something in my hand to where I'm not completely caught off guard. Call me crazy, you call me stupid, you call me whatever you want, all right? But I'd rather have something on me than nothing. Good point. And I'm not saying anybody's breaking in here. I'm not saying anything like that's gonna happen. But there's always that possibility.
as soon as the sun started coming up, I was deciding, you know what? I already did this. I did the challenge. I stayed the whole night. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I was feeling like I was losing my mind a little bit and I don't know if it's just because being by myself in the middle of the mountains, secluded, no one else around here and all these things kind of like playing with your head, I don't know. But I do know that looking back at some of this footage, I did capture some stuff on camera. So I know I wasn't going crazy. I was hearing things, but I had no cell phone service the whole time I was out there. Even if I wanted to call someone to leave, I couldn't. So when the sun started coming up, I had to start walking through the woods to find cell phone service and it took me about 45 minutes to an hour to actually get service to call someone. Hey, that's messed up. You're in While I was walking through the woods, it's nothing but dirt roads and trails. There are no major roads and I did happen to walk in the direction of where I heard the singing from throughout the whole night. And I saw a weird little setup of a bunch of chairs circled around a little fire pit and it was like in the middle of nowhere. It was like these little cliffs and, and rocks. Very weird. Very weird. It was like ritualistic type going on. I don't know what like witch cults do. It looks more like somebody's fire pit, man. Like they're meeting out there, hanging out, just drinking, partying. Camping or witchcraft and, and stuff like that, but that seemed close to me. In the middle of the woods at like 3.34 in the morning, singing, chanting, I don't want anything to do with that. This trip really never was about uh, a paranormal investigation for me. It was about the rumors that we heard of people not being able to make it to the morning because they feel like they're going insane and I wanted to see if I would be able to make it to the morning without losing my mind completely. And um, I don't even know if I did that. I don't know. I felt like I was losing my mind the whole time I was in there. I wouldn't mind going to this place and spending overnight in the in that area. Hell, I'd sleep outside. All right, so I know I've said a lot of times that was the scariest night of my life, but that literally was the scariest night of my life. I was out there solo dolo the whole time. Did not feel good, but I stuck it out as long as I could. So the sun came up and then I got the out of there. There is more scary stuff coming to the channel, don't worry. I plan on launching that new series, Ghost or Not, where you guys could decide whether or not viewers caught a ghost on camera. I'll show the footage to you. People are emailing me, sending in pictures and videos, and I like it. Keep that stuff coming in. I'll be making a bunch of little videos like that for you guys on the downtime. Also, I just released my first music album. You guys could listen to it right now. So look me up, Casey Nolan, on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon Play Store. It's out there right now. So as a goodbye to season one, Hunting Purgatory, here is a single that I made called My Demons. The album is out. All right, guys, I am not going to play this song because I'm not trying to get any copyright claims. Now, well, I probably will still get one, but guys, that... That was an interesting video. Uh, the audio that we heard, the water and all that, some of that stuff could have been added post. I don't know for sure, but I know I I want to actually do that. Uh, so if you guys have any haunted locations that are locally to Lexington where I'm at, let me know. And if you have access to it, let me know. If, I know there's a few, but I don't think I have access to them places. There is one haunted location that I would definitely, it's a mansion here. Everybody says it's haunted. And I would love to go there. And if anybody, any of my friends has access or contact with the people that own it that would allow me to come in and do an overnight video, I would definitely do that. I'd have cameras set up and, you know, you guys would get a full investigation slash challenge video. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Mind Seed TV, subscribe to Project Exovum, and check out the merch, ghost, the ghost equipment at link. I'll just check everything out in the thing. You click one time, one at a time, and let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, I'll see you.